Hey everyone, so in Unreal 426 we finally got the GPU light mass and now it's in beta. And for, for those of you who don't know, for the past few years we've been using Lushuang GPU light mass and we've been replacing some engine files so we can be able to use the GPU. Unreal Engine light baking system, the light mass, now offers the next generation GPU based variant built from the ground up. The GPU light mass improves on the CPU based light mass system by leveraging the DirectX 12 and the DXR ray tracing capabilities to significantly reduce the time it takes to build complex scenes. Achieving speeds on a single host comparable to a distributed swarm render on the CPU based system. If you don't understand what this means, it means now when you have when you use the GPU light mass, it's way, way, way much faster than the CPU light mass. We've been waiting for this for many years now, and I'm super happy we have it. And now it says the new GPU light mass improves on the current light baking system by Using a progressive light mapper with optional real time previewing in the viewport, this means you can see what you render progressively, similar to V-Ray, good old days. So now you see that on the textures here. Yeah. You get a preview of your scene really fast when you make changes. So you don't have to wait for the render time 30 more minutes or something. This is amazing. All right. It also offers here the new GPU light mass offer multiple modes for building the light so you can do a full bake or bake what you see. So when you click on the GPU light mass after you activate it, if you don't know how to activate it, make sure you see our small uh, quickie Unreal Engine tutorial. It offers now two new modes. You have full bake and bake what you see. And by the way, this scene here is built with the GPU light mass, the old one and producing more physically accurate results than the CPU. Yeah, it makes sense because it's 10 times. It's, it's using ray tracing to calculate these things, so it should be more physically accurate. So this here teaches you how to enable this. We already covered this. You need to switch the RHI to DirectX 12. You need to enable ray tracing. And if you want, and I think this is a good one, so you can, uh, actually this is optional, but if you want to be able to check your, your textures like this, so you can see the progressive result you need to enable the virtual texturing here to enable the virtual texturing we can also do that from the project settings so let's uh, see how we can enable that real quick virtual texturing enable virtual texture support and we need to enable it also for the light maps yeah so we need to search here in the project settings for virtual texturing enable it also enable the light maps option and it will ask you to restart your engine it does not show here on my screen but i'm gonna restart the engine save selected keep in mind when you enable the virtual texturing it it would take like fucking 15 minutes to restart the engine so just keep that in mind you can watch one of my other tutorials or you can uh, get some coffee just uh, make, make sure you stay hydrated so when we enable the virtual texturing, it took like 15 minutes to restart the engine. And as you can see, we need to rebuild the light completely because all light maps are gone when we enable the virtual texturing for light maps as well. But this will help us now see the progressive render. However, before I start, I'm going to turn off the ray traced reflections. And to do that, we can find our post process volume and go to the post process, sorry go to rendering futures and find the ray traced ambient occlusion disable it and you can see what kind of difference this makes let's also disable the ray traced reflections so where is it yeah reflections set the type from ray tracing to screen space and this was also make mass massive difference in our scene Anyway, this will be better for the performance because my viewport can get pretty laggy. Right now, to rebuild the light, one of the first things I usually recommend doing when we want to test the light on something is just to reset the light map resolution. So let's set everything for 32 or 64 so we can have much faster bake times. Because most of these were like on production, 512, like, you know what I mean, 512, 1024, depending on the size of the surface. So now we don't really care about the resolution. And by doing this, by reducing the light map resolution again, 
we can save us so much time in building the light let's just do 32 for most of them yeah we're good now this took me a few minutes maybe just a minute or something to do it's kind of annoying but this will save you so much time so in general in the future go ahead do what it takes to optimize your scene for whatever you're doing and save yourself some time this will make you much more effective and productive now let's do the magic button first ctrl shift s to save everything <laughs> We don't want to lose our settings. Now we need to bake what we see and let's click on build light. And now you cannot see it. It's uh, like building lighting for current view, slow mode. You should see something similar. Let me see if I can do it now in, uh, in this app. Yeah. Do you see it? I'm gonna put it on the video for montage. So imagine this. Every time when you move, it resets to zero or whatever. So just, you know the purpose of this video, so let's just do it like this. Now let's uh, sit back and relax. Actually, you know what? I am not really concerned about uh, bake what you see. I want to see a full bake on our scene. So let's click bake, full bake, and denoise on completion. Let's do that. I'm gonna pause the video recording. Yeah, well, nice. You can see. Forget about pausing the video. <laughs> so is this baked now? Well, let, let me start by saying this is really nice. What like the kind of bake the progress, but there is something wrong here in the scene. Might be the skylight or something. Is it like should be static? Ah, yeah. Now it's more accurate. So the stationary skylight, for some reason, it's kind of weird. Maybe after the bake is finished, it would apply. So let's do stop. Let's do a bake and come back. I'm still learning about the GPU light mask. All right, so we finished building the light and now it's encoding textures. I switched to unlet view and increased the slow mode speed and the full speed to the maximum number possible. And it made the speed of baking my light much faster. Like this is a nice bake, but the problem with it, my skylight is set to stationary. Ooh, we have real time now, that's why. Yeah. I love Unreal 426, the new stuff. Anyway, we need to switch this from stationary to static. Now this is our bake. Yeah, this is 32. We need to increase the light map resolutions, but I like this. This is also super clean. We, it took like, uh, how much time it took? Let's see. There is no way to tell how much time it took. There is no swarm agent. So from the output lag, you can find the total something here. The GPU light mass total lighting time took 3 minutes 20, 20 seconds. So that's good. You can find it. Right. Now, this took on our super low resolution apartment here. Let's do another test where I increase the quality of these slightly. So let's do something like 256. These guys, let's close it. Let's make it 128 and 256 for this guy. And let's make this boy 512. Same for this guy. Table here, let's make it 256. Now the scare thing, it always look good when it have high resolution. If you wonder like why did he put this number or why did he put that number, go to YouTube and watch our tutorial series on lighting for beginners. Anyway, I'm done talking, let's do another build, let's decrease these. And let's not use Iridian's caching for now. Oh boy, there is so much to do, so I'm pretty excited. Let's go. Whoa. So this is slow mode enabled, where we can uh, see what's up. And I love this mode because I wouldn't see this object if I didn't see it now. I would be super mad rendering for 3 fucking hours and forget to increase the resolution of this object from 32 to like usually 512 right this is fucking amazing this makes me happy see now we can see the shadow is way much better here that's absolutely incredible yeah I'm, I'm very happy with this update i'm super happy let's wait and see how it goes i'm gonna like put time lapse for you guys let's go we can see the door have some very bad resolution and we we can see this at the very beginning of the light build that's amazing
128 and uh, time lapse again okay guys so basically i'm building the light and usually in these scenarios i would wait for the light bake to finish to change these right so what's really nice about this you can walk through your project and if you forget to increase the quality of something you can increase it now yay look i think i forgot to increase this we you can tell you can easily tell that's amazing let's make this one 512 let's make this one 1024 i'm gonna do final bake let's keep this guy 4k it's kind of funny but it'll take forever so let's not i'm very happy with the new gpu light mass this is extremely promising and now i can understand why it took them so much time to work on this they just they wanted to get it right and holy shit, they did now after this you, see, you can see the noise this noise can be re removed when we play with these settings and at the end of this like process it will uh, try and denoise all these textures for us so let's see how this will go okay so it's uh, encoding textures now I'm curious how much time it took oh look at this denoise this is good this is actually good like this took only a few minutes this is even faster than Lushuang GPU light mass and cleaner somehow interesting there are some artifacts I can see but I think we can uh, increase some stuff play with some stuff and like get rid of these artifacts they should they should not be a problem so the new gpu light mass is much much faster i think than the cpu light mass that's that's for sure and the old lushuang gpu light mass so if you want to upgrade i don't think it's safe yet i don't know and like this this would be a problem for production uh, project you cannot give your customer such a project and tell him to deal with this go to window uh, developer tools output lag and scroll down usually you would be like all the way down here you should look for the gpu light mass here you can see here everything is going on the, like, this is the output lag is just like if you feel like nerdy today you can just put it here and everything you do will be recorded here anyway if you want to see it took like nine minutes to build the, the light to get this result and that's incredible so this is what we have in 10 minutes with some bugs. My next test for this is to click here and decrease these like back to their old settings, which this, which is slightly higher. Let's go ahead and build the light. Hey guys, so we're back after uh, upping the resolution. <laughs> After making the resolution higher, as you can see, we don't have these artifacts like we did before. I think most of these artifacts are gone and they did. That's great. So let's see how much time this took by going to the output log. This took 10 minutes, 45 seconds. Wow, that's incredible. That was it for today. In the upcoming lessons, we will cover more Unreal Engine stuff. So subscribe if you're not already and follow me on ArtStation. And also, you may be happy to know that we released our first product on Gumroad that you can pre-order now. This is a project I've been working on for a while and I will teach you how to make interior designs and how to generate ideas inside Unreal Engine and 3ds Max. That was it for today. Thank you for watching and take care.